Like, what is that? Is that... Is that jizz? Did someone jizz on these packs? I mean, I get it. They look... They look really good, but I wouldn't jizz on them. That's that's just offensive. Hey. Hello everyone, I'm back for another episode, episode 3. You can call me Pokegasm, you can call me Gasm, you can call me Dad, you can call me Uncle. Um, today's episode is sponsored by Alpro Soya, banana flavored. The expiration date is 15th of October 2019. Um, but you know what they say about milk? It doesn't go bad. Got a little ASMR going on right here. It's looking pretty nutritious. Okay, uh, let's start with this weird package, probably done by Haru. Yeah, it's just a piece of plastic, and inside that piece of plastic there is some paper wrapped around an object. Yeah, this is just like a garbage bag <laughs> around a piece of cardboard. Ooh, I see a pack. That's always interesting. Yeah, it's just one pack, but this is actually the Arceus movie promotional pack. Um, Japanese exclusive, so there are a lot of Japanese exclusive artworks in here that did not come out in English, which is always my favorite thing. Uh, the word Japanese exclusive already gives me goosebumps just hearing that word. Um, we got a nice little Pikachu the movie stamp right here on the back. And yeah, we got Arceus, a bunch of legendaries, Ash, Don, Brock, Pichu, Team Rocket. Maybe I will open one of these someday on the channel, you know, if a lot of people request me to open all the packs, but I keep to I prefer to keep most of my packs sealed because I am a sealed collector. But um, yeah, I do have a bunch of these at home as well. And there actually are some really nice promos in these, so I might open one someday, maybe. Next one is looking like it's gonna be pretty hard to open up. A lot of layers. Oh, you bitch. Ah. Okay. Yeah, I get a little aggressive sometimes when I'm opening packs. Oh, more layers. Good packaging. That's definitely not done by Haru. That's pretty cute. They got a nice little Japanese hair right, hair right there. Another layer. Okay. This is good stuff. Um, so you guys remember the stamps from last episode? Um, those actually are meant to be put in stock books like this one. So this is a little book to put those stamps in. Um, there are a bunch of different stock books depending on which stamp set you're trying to collect. And um, let's see if this one is full or empty. Both would be okay for me. Damn, that was a journey. So it's out. Right there, that's the Shogakukan um, logo, I think. We got, well, yeah, so it's upside down. Uh, right here. Then we got three starters, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and it is empty, so we can fill that up later. Awesome, and yeah, I think they are numbered, so Mew is supposed to go here on the last page. And we got this weird Japanese guy, and he's also at the front, so yeah, this person. We got this nice Articuno right here. Awesome. Okay, next one. Let's take this slim boy right here. Very small, very very thin. I prefer thick, but uh, some people prefer thin. Thin is also fine. Thin works. Once again, Japanese with the cute packaging. How many different types of tape do Japanese people got? Like always tape with little fairies, little polar bears, little penguins. What's up with that? Not complaining though, it's pretty cute. Oh shit. Hope I didn't damage anything there. That was pretty aggressive. Ooh, wow. That's interesting. Never saw that before. So holographic thing right here, Bandai 20, 2002. Actually don't know what this is. Doesn't really have a back. Another one. Oh yeah, now I recognize these. I've seen these before. Yeah, that's awesome, wow. Okay, we got Tyranitar and 
Articuno. That's, I think Articuno is called Freezer in Japanese. Freeza. And um, Tyranitar is called Bangiras or Bangirasu. So yeah, I know my shit, I know my names. Then we got Entei and um, Scizor. That's awesome artwork. We got my boy Politoed. Tediursa, Fanfi. Ooh, wow. There's some good shit right here. It was looking like a really disappointing package, but uh, yeah. Can look disappointing on the outside, but can be good on the inside. We got Mew. That's cool. Little molecules in the background. Another holographic one. I like those holographic ones. We got Espeon and Magmar fighting it out. Ninetales versus Pikachu. Same one, but holographic. Let's just compare the two. Well, both holographic, but one is super special, awesome holographic, and the other one is just regular holographic. We got this one again. That's actually a, a duplicate. It's a double. Okay. Another one. Another one. And I'm sorry if I'm going through these slow, but I just like to appreciate the artworks. Cloyster and Sneasel. And the last one is just a bunch of happy guys being happy together and singing. Just the boys chilling. Ah, oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh no, there was one more. I forgot. J just the same one again. Yeah. Okay. That's that for these. Just put them aside. And let's pick out the next package. Another thin one, just to keep the theme going. Let's cut it open. Let's see. Ooh, shit. God damn. Fuck. Okay, these are uh, special McDonald's promotional packs. Win from the sea. Um, that's the third promotional McDonald's set ever released, E-series. Um, there are some beautiful cards in here, the most notable one being the Sunset Mew, which is quite famous, quite notorious card. Um, I do have that, I'll probably put up a picture on screen or just a Google search image. Yeah, there's some awesome artworks in these. Actually, the artworks that you see in the pack are artworks that you can get in this set, but um, the Mew is not on there. Yeah, these are just beautiful, like, you know, just a little promotion. Remember kids, eat unhealthy, you will get Pokemon cards. More sealed stuff. It's already four packs today. That's pretty good. Ooh, we got some nice stamps right here. Just a little Japanese scenery. Okay, there's a piece of cardboard. Um, and yeah, I recognize this. Once again, with the cute packaging, just a bunch of kitties. Okay, this is a very cool promotional folder. Inside of this, there is a Dunsparce promo. I'll probably show you guys what that promo looks like on screen. And also, as you can see right here, there is a poster and the poster is um, the artwork from Neo Revelation packs, Japanese, which features Suicune, Entei and Raikou. And um, the poster is pretty cool, but I think I'm gonna leave this sealed. I have one of those already, but um, yeah, just prefer keeping this sealed. Just think about it for a second. Maybe I will open that another episode later. We'll see, we'll see. If you wanna see this opened, or other stuff, you know, if you want to see this opened, just drop a comment begging me to open and I might just do it. I might just do it one day. Let's do this one. Oh shit, do I see more packs? Do I see more sealed stuff? Ooh, what the fuck? <laughs> these are really, really poor condition. Like these are really fucked up. What did someone do to these? What the fuck? Like, what is that? Is that... Is that jizz? Did someone jizz on these packs? I mean... I get it. They look... They look really good, but... I wouldn't jizz on them. That's... That's just... Offensive. Okay, yeah, these are... These are completely fucked. They're like... Scratched. The surface just feels... Textured, because they're so dirty. Just like, nice little texture going on right there. Um, yeah, but just let's take a look to appreciate that artwork by, I think it's Arita. Um, we got Puzzle and Minon, Spoink, and of course, Big Boy Rayquaza. And then we got 
Flygon and Salamence fighting it out in the sky. These packs went for 500 yen, that's about $5, so good price. I think I got these really cheap, but I, I knew they were damaged, but just didn't know they were, they were this bad. Okay, let's go for this big package, lots of surface area. Ooh, postcards actually, nice. So once again, these are uh, postcards by Keiko Fukuyama, the artist that we also featured in previous episode. Um, and this is the set from 1998, um, set B, so they are, they are a bit classified per year, like 1998 set A, set B, 1999 set A, set B, and stuff like that. This is 1998 set B, and uh, it just features a bunch of artwork with a character that is supposed to resemble Ash, and yeah, it's pretty cute. You know, we got Ditto right there, eating some shrooms, tripping out, Paris got like really big eyes. Jigglypuff as well is like, yeah, they're definitely tripping. That's some, yeah. <laughs> Just look at Pikachu, I mean, if that guy's not on drugs, I don't know. There's just all like, yeah, there's just too much. Like, Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, good stuff overall. Second one, Pikachu winning the Olympics. Let's see what's going on in the background. We got Eevee cheering. Machop peeking out. Yeah, that's really cute. Okay, we got Ash. Meowth. And the last one. This is a spooky Halloween themed one. We got Grimer. Yes, Zebdos in the background, Aerodactyl. So a lot of details in this, you know, I would really recommend just pausing this to look at the details. There's like always something you didn't notice the first time. I think we have two packages left, or no, three. So it's probably time to open a Burning Shadows pack. Once again, hoping for that Charizard. Ooh, good coat. I like. Three to the front. A psychic energy. Maybe we'll get a psychic Charizard. So we got Electabuzz, Sophocles, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Monkey, Frog, Togedemaru, Wimpod, Alolan Vulpix, Adish Reverse, and a Gardevoir EX, which is. That just happens to be my waifu. I like that. Next package. This looks promising because there's a lot of stuff going on already in the packaging there's like tape there's Japanese instructions on how to make a swimming pool and there is a lot of different stamps with, with little bunnies and swimmer deer and bird like there's barcode there's different kind of tape there is red paper there is Christmas Christmas tree. There's a lot of stuff going on with the packaging, so maybe the package itself, the contents, will also be good. Japanese communist propaganda. I don't know what that is. That looks like postcards. That looks like a lot of postcards, actually. Okay, that's that's it. So once again, let's look at these. Oof, okay. We start with nice southern islands. Mew, Charizard. So once again, these are by Keiko Fukuyama, artists I'm always talking about. Um, she did Southern Islands for a part. Yeah, these are just great. These are obviously not by Keiko Fukuyama, these are like anime postcards. Chinese cartoon postcards. Right, awesome, awesome. Christmas theme. More Christmas. A little more Keiko Fukuyama. Keiko Fukuyama, and this is Himeno, Psyduck getting owned, the ones we saw already, but doubles of those don't hurt, I want more and more, like in a pretty random order, but let's just go through them, this is actually by uh, Kimura I think, Kimura, I don't know how you pronounce it, like Kimura, Kimura, 
Yes, more southern islands. And this is the last one. So yeah, lots of postcards today. Suck on that, Max Mofo's postcard collection. Actually, before we do this one, it's time for our daily dinosaur sticker opening. Just rip. Okay, we are back. Just when I started doing the dinosaur opening of the day, my camera died, so now I'm back. Um, so let's just continue. Get rid of the code card. And yeah, first one is a Stigi Moloch. And uh, the stats are pretty poor strength, pretty good speed of 7 and stealth of 5. So it's actually pretty pretty bad dinosaur, not that good. And the next one is... What the fuck? We got stats but we don't got a dinosaur. Do we just have the logo? I don't know. Yeah, okay, but these are the stats. So that's a pretty disappointing dinosaur opening today. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take another sip of my milk. Another one. Nice. Nice. Okay, I'm ready for the last two packages. I see postcards. Oh, I see interesting postcards. So let's get this open. That was actually a pretty easy package to open, nice. Um, so we got a horsey from Banpresto. We got a Meowth by Banpresto. We got Porygon and Porygon 2. We got the Squirtle Evolution line, all by Banpresto. Let me zoom in on that logo. Banpresto, 1998. Then we got Meryl, Pikachu, Let's Dance, that's both like the same series. And they fit together, kind of, almost. We got another one of these, so it's little twinsies going on right there. And then we got a Clefable that fits very nicely with this horsey. Cool. But overall, you know, the dinosaur opening was just so disappointing to me that I feel like we have to do an extra pack. So normally this would be my last one, but let's do a number 11 as well. This is the mystery pack because I just accidentally brought 11 packs instead of 10. Um, let's do the big boy first. That feels like stamps. Oh yes, it's stamps. Ooh, these are awesome. So these are the second generation of Shogakukan stamps. Once again, same company, so let's zoom in a bit. As you can read, it says Shogakukan on every stamp. So that's, as I said in a previous episode, the Japanese Pokemon publishing company of the Pokemon anime, and um, they just, have a bunch of cool goods. I think a lot of these stamps came in magazines as extras, but also some came in bubblegum, some came just as promotional material for stuff. And uh, this is the second generation, Pokemon 2000. There are a bunch of these, um, but these are only two. So of the sheets you're seeing right now, there are a bunch more, a bunch of more variants that I also own. Might um, just show those in an episode, like all of the stamps I own, which would be a long episode, but um, yeah, I might do that. I think it's that could be interesting, like, just showing all of them, all the variations, because there are a ton of variations, there are, like, so many of these. Um, yeah, just let's just have a closer look real quick. I really like the Gengar, all with the classic Kensugi Mori artwork. And this one with Suicune. That's what I like, that's Sudowoodo. Interesting little background. Yeah, I like it. It's just, like, it's not much, it's just uh, basic Sugimori artwork with some background, like rocks in the background, grass in the background, water in the background. Um, but that's just the classic style, you know? That's just... that does it for everyone, I think. For every old-school Pokémon collector. Just seeing that, Kensuke Mori art with basic background, that's an automatic win, you know? You just enjoy that. The mystery package. So let us see what we get. Okay, I see Dual Masters. Um, that's not what I signed up for, but... Who knows, maybe they will surprise me. Okay, I see a ton of dual masters, but I think this is a Pokemon card. Because, yeah. Oof. That's a nice way to finish. Shiny Mew, Koro Koro Shiny Mew. So this came as a Koro Koro promo in a Koro Koro magazine. One of the best Koro Koro promos ever. Um, this one is in absolutely horrible condition, 
but I knew what I was getting, you know, I think I paid about four bucks for this. And like, I don't care if there's dog shit on it. There can be dog shit on it. If I buy it for four bucks and it's a shiny Mew, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna do that. Four bucks for a shiny Mew, like there can be, I don't care if a Japanese man jizzed on it. Like if it's four bucks for a shiny Mew, I will do that. That's just a good deal. Uh, and I think the damage is like, it's okay. There's just a bunch of creases. It's just like PSA one condition, but Honestly, it's not that bad. Like, the aesthetic is pretty good. It's good for a binder. Yeah. Just look at that glitter, man. It's a lot of glitter. That's just nice top tier cards to end this episode on. Um, I'm just gonna have one more sip of milk to celebrate getting that shiny Mew. And I think next we're gonna just do a little recap of what we got. So here's a little recap of what we got. We got the shiny special fighting Pokemon cards. Um, those are really nice. Then we got stamp sheets, a bunch of postcards, mainly by Keiko Fukuyama, but also some Ban Presto postcards. Just some good stuff overall. We got some bad dinosaur stickers. Then we got some E-Reader McDonald's promo packs. Those are awesome. Probably my favorite thing in this batch, maybe, or the postcards, I'm not sure. Then we got the stamp stock book. We got a Burning Shadows pack with a good pull. We got two poor condition EX Dragon packs, Japanese. We got an RCS movie promo pack. We got a little promo folder with a poster. And um, yeah, I think that's it. That's it for this episode. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. Share with a friend, show it on the play playground with your buddy. And um, I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, bye.